Hello, hello and welcome back to Leaky Gaming and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. This is going to be a world building series and please join in. Right, um, this is still all in uh, kind of band-aids, it's still uh, starting and coming back to the game slowly but surely. I gonna go on a little bit of a rant, not really a rant, but uh, the, the way the game was being developed recently, it wasn't really ideal. I have no idea what was happening with the game. Um, I mentioned several times that the game at the same time was... Uh, absolutely amazing and on the other side it was um, uh, lacking so much stuff like let's say tram system which is now being fixed and this is one of the reasons I'm coming back to the game um, what are we supposed to do what am I supposed to do now um, I wanted to do a little bit of experimentation and start doing stuff and uh, that would be probably a failure so what I decided is to build uh, to make these videos probably on a daily basis a little bit of world building potentially we will be playing this potentially I'm not saying 100% but uh, it could happen uh, we could be playing these uh, these let's plays so uh, on this map that we are actually developing at the moment I'm gonna show you what I built what I did uh, just a little bit of experimentation I would like to know your opinion on this um, in the end we'll probably do the voodoo that I do do so well and make a decision on my own big boy things you know and this kind of stuff grown-up things but um, uh, I did play a little bit uh, uh, with this let's say map and setup and uh, I forgot even I'm, I'm gonna get back to you and on exactly what map this is but uh, here we go, we can show you, maybe you can recognize it. It's a decent map, it has a couple of border crossings, only four, five actually. And uh, resource-wise, uh, again, not too rich, but again, it's not too challenging as well, especially we are doing the world building thing, you know, where money is not really a problem, but I would like to, you know, do the best I can. Now, I'm going to ask you a couple of things. I already asked on the Discord, uh, on Leaky Gaming Discord or Leaky's Discord, uh, what's your favorite maps and how do you, uh, you know, what do you like about the maps? And I can say that this is, this is for me, a decent map, decent uh, challenging map. Um, it has decent amount of flat terrain so we can we have freedom of building stuff i want to build a big city around here with a lot of in, in, industries but it can go either way we can go for twin cities or something like that coal reserves i did tap into the coal straight away and i did build um, auto build the uh, coal industry over here we're still not doing anything about it i don't think we even have do we have people uh, coming to work uh, we do have trains but i'm pretty sure that we don't have people being delivered here that, that's fine i'm um, still like i said the uh, constructing all the infrastructure and uh, all the all the stuff that we need we have a new power plant here the german one uh color kraftwerk mit optim optimier optimier ter uh unlogging technique yeah it's the one with uh, the purification of the whatnot coal probably or something i remember and even mod maker uh, described it we have a uh, rob's uh, processing plant we have a couple of couple of nice storages for both we have vanilla mine i believe this is vanilla mine um and we have a couple of storages as well modded ones and vanilla loading i still didn't find proper loading uh, for for coal and stuff i mean topros has uh, amazing uh, coal loading and unloading uh, train facility uh, let's call it like that but um, uh, I know as a fact I mean he confirmed that this is only 50% uh, loading speed compared to vanilla and even that is generous because the, van uh, the size of this one would probably take much longer than vanilla to load it because vanilla looks like a complex machine actually maybe not maybe it, it doesn't look like a complex machine because if we build this one it kind of fits here it just takes a little bit less space um, right so that was I was hoping to start with the basics with the basic industries like coal in this case um, this is a normal map with, uh, with uh, the uh, seasons with all of that uh, so I'm pretty happy to, to start with that making a small city uh, initially to supply coal industries uh, would be great and to have some kind of basic income 
and um, potentially develop maybe even a shipping industry, maybe ship construction industry. I'm not really sure if we should go for something like that. We do have uh, uh, train connections to the border. I would like to build everything on our own eventually. Initially, I will not bother ourselves with that. I will just... Um, um, uh, auto build something i don't want to start hard challenge i don't want to start too early i will be getting into this game a, a little bit more so probably you can expect the early starts you know 1900s and stuff later down the line in a couple of weeks or so you know at least that long and maybe even longer but we'll see if we even go for it uh we have a couple of i build a gas station let's see what i built here we have power supply where we're importing power we have our own power plant but it's not working at the moment uh we are importing power i build a small city here i'm trying to build just you know develop a city i don't want to start like i said hard challenge or anything like that it doesn't have to be hard um i would like to make our people happy here so I would like to give them everything that they need at the moment. You can see here that we have the food supply. I built a couple of bus stations. I think I'm going to go and uh, supply them with buses. Uh, public transport. Something nice. Uh, something modded maybe. Let's see what can... Oh, okay. N something not nice and something not modded. But let's go with let's go with this. A couple of these buses. I would like to uh, start with uh, initial just a line connecting people from here to the city center. And off you go. This is going to be uh, probably perfect uh, initial setup for them. Uh, they're both on the same line. That's fine. I'm just going to... Oh, uh, I can go and play with the lines, right? Leaky totally forgot about this game. So let's go with line spacing. That's going to be... Initially, that's gonna be fine. Um, they're gonna need a couple of stuff here, like kindergarten, schools, uh, drinking water. <laughs> this is something that Leaky is gonna have to play with. And um, actually, you know what? Let's start with that because I don't really know how this system functions at the moment. Uh, water substation, war small water pumping station, uh, big water pumping station. So we have a pumping station. This is obviously for forwarding water from the source. Uh, we need water well, so I will go for Rob's has decent water treat water treatment plants. I think they would be working the same. Is it water switch? What the hell is a water switch? Water switch is for distributing water. I understand that, but what about then uh, pumping, loading, unloading? So big water pumping station here. This looks like it's also forwarding, like like these ones. What's the difference between borders? I'm, I'm probably gonna have to go through a tutorial if it exists even. So uh, let's see, water substation. Uh, this looks like it's uh, distributing water. So so this is the end game, the end goal. Uh, big water pumping station. Is this good? No, this. So th we need this. This is a tiny water tower. No, we're gonna go for vanilla because I don't have too many mods. I'm gonna assume that this is something for, that we need for water supply, and I'm gonna assume that it has its limitations. Uh, Twenty cubic meters of water. I would say, assume that this is per second or something in that ballpark and uh, let's build two of them let's go for one in this neighborhood i am really not sure how many of them we need uh will you build we built here there we go one here i'll put one around the town center uh, i'm pretty sure that we're gonna need to overlap i built a couple of substations as well you can see that it's quite de dense i'm trying to build it straight away you know properly uh, so we can supply all the um all the uh everything that our people need so we have a uh, building it from the back uh, that will be the substations and then obviously we need that water treatment system let's see what it does this is uh, purifying water that's okay that's probably before we uh, dump it back in the nature maximum production per work day and then uh, maximum amount of toxic liquids uh, to be eliminated and uh yeah water tank import uh, water tank export uh, water treatment big so this is small and big that's not much different all ah, right it is uh, more than double the, this is just the intake and outtake uh, obviously chemicals which is something that we're gonna have to import probably I'll, I'll set it up as auto purchase initially but i think i'm gonna phase it out we have water treatment here but this is not something that we want we want uh this is sewage and this is water uh how do we uh, water loading unloading uh, water treatment uh, water well here we go so this is a water well and this is obviously the water quality is water everywhere this is my first question regarding water is water everywhere it looks like here is a little bit on a green side but i will assume that that's because of the buildings 
similar stuff is happening here and similar stuff here. So this is assuming, I'm assuming that this is because of the buildings. Does this create pollution? This does not create a pollution. Okay, so, and this provides us with 215 cubic meters of water. Okay, uh, does it require workers? Uh, it does require seven workers. Okay, so one bus can supply people um, to this little pumping station. So we can build it somewhere on the outskirts, maybe even here. So let's go for uh, something like this. Let's go for something like this, um, building a road. Let's go for mud and then I will upgrade as we need to. Um, yeah, this is a little bit on the awkward side. The Feng Shui, form over function. Right click, doesn't work. It doesn't want to level this, that's weird. Let's try in the opposite direction, there we go. That's definitely a little bit better. Um, let's build it like this and then th this, this is fine. Why am I building this? It's just so we can have some kind of a uh, system, some kind of order in all of this chaos. Okay, going back to the water system, so water treatment, water well. We're gonna go for big water well, I think this one is quite natural here, uh, and I think we need to point it in that direction. I will, wait, okay, it has in all directions. That's fine, uh, as long as towards the city, I think we're gonna be fine. It's connected to the electricity system, perfect. So I'm assuming that we're going to need this and then um, we're going to do some math. Everybody loves math. I love coffee though. That's a cold coffee. I'm recording this in, in uh, around noon. Actually, it's 1.34 Sunday in Dublin. I'm probably going to publish it as soon as possible, but... Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna find a proper schedule for publishing this video. This is just the first episode. I'm gonna find the proper schedule. We're gonna find it a nice home. Okay, water treatment. We're gonna do that later. Uh, water loading, unloading station. No, we don't need that. This is probably when we need to uh, deliver water by trucks for a village or something like that, where we don't want to build water wells. But I wouldn't. Why wouldn't we build water wells? Why would we even use this loading, unloading? I don't know, but um, uh, we have that uh, water switch. I'm going to assume that this is a big water tower. Ooh, is this has even capacity, right? 500 cubic meters of water. I think I want to make this. I think I would like to store some water. Is, oh, is Does it make any difference? Yeah, it makes difference. If there's no workers, this is just like a you know storage facility. I think uh, I will go for one of these bad boys. So let's build this. Um, th uh, this is Rops's one, obviously. Uh, what's this? Oh, uh, we have a couple of these water towers. Soda water tower. A water switch. This is obviously just for pushing water around. But uh, do we have vanilla storage? Yes, we have vanilla storage here. 70 cubic meters of water. Wow, what a joke. Uh, but <laughs> compared to, to the others that we have. But um, that's fine. Is uh, Robses one the biggest one we have? Looks like it is. It's in the same ballpark like everybody, every, every, everything else. So yeah, uh, nice water. Let's go for pipes. Uh, big uh, maximum flow per day. Yes, I, I'm pretty sure. Wait, why don't you show me the... Ah, no, I don't actually know. What is this sewage pump? Okay, we're gonna deal with the sewage. Ah, right, we need the water pi pipes. My bad. My bad is uh, this F3, right? Still hacker, still keeping it real. Uh, water pipe here, that will be filling our storage. Okay, so we're gonna have... Um, what's the capacity of the pipes? We need to bear all of this in mind. Bear in mind that we have... Um, uh, wow, wh where did they came up with these numbers? 26.15, uh, 56.55, and 127.23. This is the... Uh, we're going to go for the biggest one because I'm going to assume that uh, the biggest one is going to be the most important for this is city center and this area. Um, you can see here that we have 127, and if we compare it to our water treatment pumping, uh, 215 uh daily produce oh wait that's per worker oh my bad i thought that was like for the whole building okay okay um and it has internal storage as well doesn't matter we're gonna have additional internal storage okay this is per worker that means this is gonna be just enormous amount of water uh and this is an official number on enormous amount of water that's fine we're gonna connect this robs um robs robs uh the water tower with two pipes, two different pipes. I'm going to try to build them feng shui, you know, form over function and all, and then build, uh, connect them to the other one. Wow, okay. Did I just 
make this suck so much. Okay, it, it's not that bad. I mean, like, wait a minute. Can we can we do better? Can I do better? Um, if I do it from here and remove all of, what? Really? You made it in two pieces? At least three pieces. That that would be fun to build. I'm pretty sure this game still has a bug with uh, with fixing this. Um, um, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna be a, a little bit of a smart ass. I'm gonna try to do it even better. You know how Licky always makes everything better. No, he doesn't. Um, I'm gonna go and. Uh, Build this how it's supposed to be built in real life. How how we build it in real life. This is what I'm gonna try. I'm gonna put it next to the uh, roads or under the roads. So we have first pipe going in this direction, and I'm gonna go and connect it to the system. Okay, obviously, obviously. Uh, let's remove this. Okay, this works, and then I'm gonna go for the second one, uh, build it parallel to this one. Really? You don't want to be connected? This one wants to be connected? Okay, this works perfectly fine. So let's go parallel to this pipe, and then we're gonna go... Uh, can I go all the way here? A little bit further, there we go. And then a little bit in this direction, a lot of bit in this direction, and all the way to let's say here and connect it to this one perfect um i wanted to do do this a little bit you know better in a better way hopefully this is gonna work so we have another requirement here for seven workers uh we can have uh these guys delivered directly to work with one of our little micro buses so we can go for micro buses go to the oh do we want a train station maybe not let's go for this bus station and then go over here this is where you guys work. Perfect. Okay, so this is a little bit of a water system. Uh, I believe we're going to have to take care of the sewage as well. You know what? I'll touch to the... Uh, let's do the sewage as well. This is going to be one of those episodes that's going to be... 20 30 minutes long i won't go too much into that you know i'm also asking you guys for help uh if you can help me with this but um i'm pretty sure you know what i'm what i mean if you have any updates uh if i'm doing something wrong hit the comment section dumbass you do this wrong okay so i'm gonna assume that this sewage loading unloading station is for trucks delivering sewage for treatment plants which we probably gonna be connecting them directly with sewage system a sewage treatment plant small Sewage discharge. Okay, let's go in the from the back in this case. Sewage discharge. I'm assuming that this needs to be a little bit over the water. Uh, and we can do it here. I don't know how much damage this is going to do. Because it, I have a feeling that this is not as simple as just like, you know, dump this water and uh, you're, you're fine. It never is as simple as that. So what I'm going to have to do is, again, count on you guys to give me a heads up what we need to do here. Um, we, we can we can do it here. I was hoping to do it on this side because I'm thinking of putting a treatment plant here. This is a cargo train line, which I didn't plan fully what I want to where I wanted to finish. So you know what? Let's do, let's do it on this side uh, actually because I know that this is going to be cramped and the city is going to grow in this direction. But I would like to see how this works. Okay, so we have sewage tank. Sewage tank is collecting collecting the sewage. Okay, so uh, these sewage tanks, do we have different uh, uh, sewage tank? 12 cubic meters of wastewater. Okay, what's with the pipes? Pipes can go up to 169 cubic meters. That's fine. And then we have sewage pump. Uh, sewage pump, uh, this is probably just for forwarding. And this is what is minus 15 meters, really? That's how, how much underground you are? Uh, looks like it is. Yeah, yeah, this is if you need to go uphill and downhill gradient, probably. If they calculate it even that, that would be interesting. Okay, sewage treatment small. I think I'm going to go for sewage treatment bigger one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is big. How, mu how much are you taking care of? Uh, 220 cubic meters of um, uh, wastewater. Okay, uh, maximum amount of toxic liquids to be eliminated, 220. Maybe I should start with the small one initially. So we can, we can start with the small one. We can build it, uh, let's say, here. How many people work here? Uh, 10, okay, a little bit bigger. We can make this part of the public... Oh, do you have the pollution? It should do uh, maximum daily water uh, consumption... 
uh, stations, uh, pollution, pollution. I don't see pollution, really? I used to kind of live close one of these. I mean, like, even in Ireland here, like, they, they stink. But, but like, you know, the, the, like, I would say, like, in Ireland, they have, like, quite... Whoa. They have these pipes, probably, for whatever it, that is. Anyway, anyway, anyway. So, we have, uh, from the opposite direction, we're gonna go first build the treatment system. This is a discharge. And then we need to build the uh, sewage tanks. I don't know what these sewage pumps do, guys. If you can keep the comment section, had to, uh, help the brother out with the sewage pumps. And this is just probably a discharge. I'm gonna go and build something like this. Um, this is gonna be covering all of it here. One small interruption later, and we covered the uh, excess waste from there. We can do one in the city center in a kind of similar manner. We can put it close to here. I don't know. If you know, guys, that there's a better way of placing these, uh, that would be great. Help the brother out. Uh, sewage tank. Wait, wait, wait. We can't seriously think that all these sewage tanks are going to be connected to the same. Can, don't we have, like... Don't we have, how, like, we have these water pumping stations. Does this count on the... For, no, it, I don't think it counts for the wastewater as well. I can experiment with this, but I'm pretty sure that these pipes won't be connected to this one. Yeah. So, uh, I'm pretty sure that this is... This is definitely, it doesn't fit here, so I'm gonna remove this. Um, so, how do we pump this? I, I'm pretty sure that we should not be that we should be able to connect all of these sewage pipes to to each other as well for example let's see uh, if i go to water system so we have maybe this is the input output but this is only oh here we go here we go is this the one ah switch there we go uh switch uh wait oh uh, input output okay so can i build it anywhere no it has to be above ground which is, which is uh, doable. Let's do like this and then connect this one to this one. I'm fine with that. Uh, beggars can't be choosers. Oh, I can build it like this. Okay, perfect. Let's go parallel. Wow. Sewage pipes are much larger. I mean, like, should I even be surprised? I mean, of course they are larger. But when, when you decide to go in this direction, you better be sure that you want to do that. Um... Uh, let me try on the opposite side. Let, can, can we do this and then parallel to this? No, I'm gonna have to do it. Ooh. Ooh. Sweet. That's nice. There we go. Awesome. Okay, this looks uh, this looks nice. Uh, this looks nice. Uh, I like... What? Slope? Seriously? Uh, what? Uh, okay, so obviously minus five meters, right? Um, I can do it here. Why do I have to build a road for it? Hey, no, 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 whoa, 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 delete this. Delete this uh, in the opposite direction. Why can't I connect it here? If I go from here... Okay, maybe it's the size of a pipe, is it? Looks like if I go here... Okay, this works. I have no idea what the hell this hap what the hell just happened. But I can do go parallel to the road. Oh, I, did I miss it? Um, not really. It's all the way in the back here. And then we can connect it here. Okay, I have a feeling that this should work. It requires proper slope again. Uh, F2. What's with the slope? This looks like it's on the same level. Maybe the slope is just for the distance, uh, if you go for a bigger distance. I don't know, guys. Let me know if I'm making any mistakes here, but uh, I, I, can, I can do this. I can do this, and then I can do pro probably this, and then connect it here, right? This should work. 
Okay, I think I built our first sewage system around here. Uh, I think this works. Uh, let me know in the comment section, guys, if I'm doing anything wrong, if I can do it better. Uh, I still didn't put, uh, didn't me uh, meet all the all the people's needs. Uh, so that's something that I'm gonna continue doing. This is pretty much straightforward. Uh, uh, you know, shops and restaurants and all this stuff. Uh, Waliki has to come back to them. You know. <laughs> to the train of thought that he had before how to actually manage all these manage all these uh, buildings let's see schooling system can we go with uh, kindergarten it's later we need schools straight away police station let's go for school mr robs's one uh, maybe we can go for a bigger one in the city center do we have taller ones 240 kids uh, the vanilla is 120. We're definitely gonna need more than that. What is this? Oh, what the hell is wrong with me? Oh, this is the one we had recently in the um, In the mod Monday, I think I'm gonna go for this one. It has a decent capacity and it's a tall building I think it's a 50s or 60s school definitely fits in this time period But uh, we, we're not looking at that that much uh, it's a big school. It has a big capacity and uh, that's probably the most important thing here Let's build a school here. We have a public transport system. Let them use for schools Let them use public transport system regarding the kindergartens. We can do real quickly over here uh, We can go again. Uh, this is gonna be a bigger kindergarten If you see something that you like or you have any suggestions about the buildings, we're gonna go a big kindergarten 80s um, Yeah, I'll, I'll try I'll do my best to be kind of age appropriate but i'm not guaranteeing anything if i see that something is in the 80s like now here with the with the robs's mod here uh fine maybe i'm gonna react and say okay 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 let's do something better but uh <clears throat> i don't have to do that i don't feel the need to do so so we can you know uh, um, we can go with whatever buildings, you know, fit, uh, which, whichever buildings we think it's the best. University-wise, um, yeah, we can start with technical, I don't really care. A uh, small technical college, no, this is, um, eh, yeah, like, we can, we can go even for small one. I don't mind that, it, it can also be in a city center. Uh, we're obviously gonna have to ex extend this, and I'm not considering that this is some kind of a challenge on our part. Well, having a university, especially a technical one in the beginning, I think it's always uh, a positive and uh, easy way out rather than hard one. Uh, shops here are being used, building without drinking water. Do we need the workers here? Do we Are we getting workers here? Do we even have a system of delivering them here? I am missing a... I'm missing a vehicle that is delivering workers here. These guys should be... Spe ah, here we go. Here we go, three workers are gonna go and start uh, pumping water. We can actually experience this now. Um, anything else I would like to add here? Um, news agency, I think we can... Um, right click needs to open a build menu. I don't know if anybody from the 3 division uh, is listening, but we need that. Right click, open a build menu or something like that. That would be quite nice. Um, I will not gonna address any messages at the moment. I think we are pretty much fine uh, Drinking water. We said that we have a here we go. Here we go drinking water for everyone Do you still have a problem with the drinking water? You should not have a problem with drinking water You have a problem with drinking water. There's no drinking water here. Why is it so do we have all the pipes connected? Let's check underground f3 pipes are connected that should be working uh, let's see Water tank export 2% for some reason. They're still not getting this water Output um, you have the output here gauges uh, none of them are working Maybe we need to create a pressure first, but let them let them do this current production per work day is 27 cu cubic meters of water 28 I Don't think this would be per per day I think like maybe it is, maybe it is. Another city of a million people. I think it consumes like in Croatia. I think I read that somewhere in capitals are was like 
five cubic meters a second or something like that uh, it's consumed but uh, I'm not sure maybe I'm pulling these numbers out of my ass but uh, that, that was my uh, influence but that was my uh, thought before uh, bus wise are we having uh, transports we're having transports that's fine uh, school uh, do we have school we don't have school we have a college though I think oh we have a school yeah my bad we have a school here so hopefully this is gonna be uh, resolved as well uh, anything else I want to cover here we, we need the uh, fire department we need we can we can be put fire department over here uh, we need the hospital and all that stuff but i'm gonna slowly build this up now let me know what you think about the whole plan the whole idea you know of having like little mining industry here making uh, where the current main news come from this is my inspiration for the for building these cities you know uh, constructing steel plants and coal mines and there's a region where all the news are coming from is actually quite rich with iron ores and coals and has huge uh, percentage of the gdp of the country where this thing is happening wink wink um, so it's kind of inspirational that I would like to build an industrial city based on some of the cities in Eastern Europe. Wow, that's shocking. That's everywhere from Eastern Germany to freaking Vladivostok. Uh, but, um, but yeah, I would like to build a small coal industry, small, decently sized coal industry, start exporting coal with trains, uh, get our economy on foot based on the coal exports, uh, heating plant, water production, uh, water treatment, all this stuff. I would like to, I would like to have it. This resource is not sending resource. What this sort the so the this no this source is not sending resource. I have no idea why it's not sending. Maybe it's not uh, working. Did you have electricity? They should have. This one doesn't require electricity. The the water tower, but that's fine. Uh, will we get more people? Yeah, seven out of seven. Now we have bigger uh, water production. That's that's better. Hopefully, we when we get to the quality ninety two. Is that? Tell me guys about this uh, water quality. Uh, 91 percent do we need to purify this water is this okay uh, do we need to treat this water before we distribute it uh, all right look at this this is a quality of a hundred percent i am pretty sure that we need to purify this water before it's being consumed uh, water treatment plant um, so we're gonna go for big this is or small um, yeah interesting 100 and 309 uh, you know what let's go for small one water treatment plant uh, that would be smaller opsis one i didn't even build the vanilla ones why am i going for bigger ones let's go for vanilla let's go for vanilla we're gonna put it uh over here and uh i'm gonna put it like this and uh, i'm gonna go with play with uh, wesley pipes f3 that would be underground and then we need to remove pipe from here to here and this only i'm i'm pretty sure that this only stores 100 percent quality water even even leaky can understand hopefully understand this hopefully this is not going to be too challenging for my little brain but uh, let's try it um sure sure i'm fine with this and then purified water goes and goes in here and then leaky has to do the voodoo that he do do so well and go above ground f3 uh remove some of the road from here and then build a nice uh, station. Uh, Rob says one one-sided station, proper village station. Um, yeah, even though it's not really that villagey, it's actually gonna look quite nice. Uh, you do have a question mark because water well is not your. Uh, okay, uh, after this one, you need to go to the station and then remove the water well, and there you go. You have a new. Uh, direction where we're going so he's gonna be bringing people here even though we need five here seven here I think one bus is gonna be enough because he's gonna be back before the second shift star starts the station looks a little bit too too advanced maybe we can uh, do, be a nice and just you know at least make it look uh, decent here until the intersection and then red later on nothing trains are still running empty we still I still didn't allow them to go there I think I want to get all the people's needs meet met with uh, food shopping all this stuff uh, you can see that they are still requiring water uh, unfortunately they need to start purifying this we can wait with desired water uh, quality 99 percent uh, and this one is not, what is this uh, they want this quality water and this one uh, water quality is 90 percent okay what the hell is this uh, water tank quality 90 percent 
desired 99%. So this is what they need to purify it too. Why can't I put 100%? Yeah. Uh, not if I'm when production stops. I have no idea if this is supposed to be like that or not. Are we getting any water here? Uh, this one looks like it also needs to be to 100% quality. Okay, we have people in here, but there's not wa no water being pumped. Again, it says here that they need quality of water 100%. Can I... What if I lower this like this? Can I go even further? I'm not sure how this works. I'm gonna have to go through tutorial or experiment with this because I didn't do that before this episode. My bad. My bad. Water tank export, quality 100% and here quality 90%. So why why is there a difference? Why do they need quality or 100% import? Quality 100% is zero. This one has quality of, of uh, 91% and currently it's at 90%. I have no idea why. Uh, how do we increase quality of this water? Uh, no, I won't remove the storage. No, that's all fine. I'm looking if I'm missing something. I don't. I don't think I can dictate the quality of the water. Uh, maybe if I put it in some freaking Alps or something. But that means if I ever, um, if I ever, it's 95. Everywhere is 95. It doesn't go to 100. How do you reach the 100%? I would assume that it's with the, with the water treatment plant. That you treat the water and increase the quality. But for some reason, they're not getting this water. Let's see what else we have here. Big well, water treatment small. Is the small... Maybe the pipes are too big. Let's see. F3. Uh, maybe this one doesn't accept these big pipes. It doesn't seem so. Looks like they can accept big pipes. I can try with that. Uh, let's go with uh, smaller pipes. Smaller pipes should always work. Maybe pipes are too long. <laughs> I have my doubts, but um, let, let's see if this is gonna if this is gonna resolve the situation. We have people working in one and the other, and they're not getting it. Okay, uh, this is the reason why I'm recording these episodes to for you guys to help me with this. So I'll publish this as soon as possible. What is this? Water quality. Why is this have animation? I don't get it. Uh, we have chemicals, do we have electricity, the source is not sending, building without drinking water, okay. So you need both drinking water and you need water. Uh, that's kind of like, you know, <laughs> you need drinking water and yet you're supplying water, you're purifying water. Uh, why is this not sending? Maybe I need to put output here, do I need to do something about this water? We are storing it. Okay, I'm gonna leave it here. Um, I'm gonna leave it here. Hopefully, I'm gonna get this, guys, in the comment section. I expect you to help the brother out. Uh, we're gonna try to make this uh, water system function. For now, I hope you guys are happy that we're back at this game. I actually am. I'm having still problems. I would like to see uh, more improvements in the game, but I know how these things work, so I'm, I'm just gonna have to, you know, um, uh, bite the bullet and accept it as it is. But anyway, I'm gonna say I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, press the like button. If you didn't, Leave a nasty comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, notification bell, ring it. Comment section, hit it. And if you want to support the channel, tum tum church, you have description of the video. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye bye.